We're getting ready to do the tip-off now. Jasmine Prophet getting it for Rambeau's hand. The Falcons win the tip. Taylor tips the ball from Perez. Perez now has it dribbling left. Going around the top of the perimeter. Falcons going to want to maximize every possession, which means starting the game off shooting well. Shot is up. Air ball. Out of bounds, and it is it was never touched, so it was off the Falcons on the air ball. And Angelo State will take possession. Christine Robinson operates at the point. She doesn't have fantastic numbers, but she is the driving engine to this Randall team. Bells will maintain possession. Missed shot. Goes up and in. Two of the two Falcons draw first blood in the first minute, up to nothing. And they surround Vera Forsen. With the Falcon possession, players are going to provide. Full court pressure. Full loose pressure. You're going to provide uh, the hole, but they're not trying to trap. Perez needs to dribble through. She gets it down into the corner. Shot is up. Kara, 4 2. This is the side the Falcons are going to need if they're going to have any hope of pulling off the upset. Bells working fully around the perimeter. And the three-point shot goes up. That's Christina Robinson. She averages seven a game to go with 3.5 rebounds and 2.5 assists. Perez crosses half court. Clinton in with the shot. Side rim. Short. Rebound by Angelo State. Robinson up top to Kelly. Drive, shoot, miss, rebound. It's going to be a foul. Foul is going to be on Crittenden. Her first, team's first, game's first. At the line. Profit. Shots up and good. Crawford is a 82% free throw shooter, makes both. And it's a tie ball game, 5-5. Five to five. And uh, Angelo State continues to apply that pressure. Perez, just to the corner, Carroll, Carroll, down to Perez. Cross the floor, Toto for three. Up and good, she drops it. That was a good two feet beyond the line. Got a profit across the floor. Nice spacing for Angelo State. Shots up, no good. Rebound by Peavy. She gets it over to Perez. Throws it up over the top to Kara. Kara for three. Off the side rim. Angelo State, far corner. Angelo State, trying to get over the top, can't do it. Ball goes out of bounds. Falcon will take possession. take possession, leading eight to five. Perez dribbles through, leaving in traffic. Now setting up the half court offense. Reset it! 
We're under 10 on the shot clock. Crittenden looking across the floor to Toto. Toto for three. Can't get it to go. The preview with a big rebound. Goes up and in. Nice putback by John A. Peavy. And there's a phantom timeout called. The news goes a 6 one junior center from Chicago. She'll be taking Clinton's spot. Shots up. And in, into the game, Lexi Murphy for Angelo State. Shot in the corner, up, no good. Rebounded by Angelo State. Long three off the front of the rim. Five and five to the rebound. Peavy comes up with it. Gives it off to Tato. Go get it, Jackie! Talk Peavy driving. Can't find space. Gets the ball knocked out and stolen away. Looks like there's going to be a foul called against Jackie Perez. We will have a couple of substitutions during the free throws. First one's up. It's good. Robinson, 69% free throw shooter on the season. Into the game for the Falcons. Uh, Crystal Reed. Number 24, and I believe Victoria Lopez. Yeah, Victoria Lopez, number 13. Shots up, it's good. Lopez at the point, gets it over to Tato. Into Verduzco. This is it way back out top on the far side. Tato shot. Nice stop and pop by her. Here Tato with the, took a drive, stopped and shot it. Nifty play. Ball almost went out of bounds. Picked up by Kelly. Working it inside. Dish out. Into the middle. Shot up off the glass, no good. Reduzco with the rebound, gets it to Lopez. Falcons up tempo. Shots up, no good, but rebound for Tara. Back to Lopez. Lopez has it knocked away, out of bounds. No, she got the pass off apparently, off the glass, and tough turn of events for the Falcons. They now one point lead for the Falcons, 12 to 11. Tato, 4 3. Oh, another one rattles out. Falcons can't get the rebound. Well, blocked by Tato. Well done, staying back on defense on her part. Lopez takes it off the block. To Tato, back to Lopez. Crystal Reed, across the floor to Tato, Tato for three, it's up, another one rattles out, she can't quite get him to drop, but coach is happy with the shot attempt, under three and a half in a fast tempo, first quarter, shot is up, it drops, and that is Taylor Dorsey, lead for Angelo State, 14-12, Lopez, near the, not, not far from half court, near the five second line. In the lead, Reed from the top of the key, can't get it to go. Falcons are finding a little bit of a lid on the basket. They're taking nice shots, but they're not getting him to drop. Drive, and no one stepped up to take her. Christina Robinson. Two 
Lopez dribbling to her right. In the middle. Reduzco. Off to the side. Paid over three. She drops it. There you go. And Falcons take the lead. Oh, sorry. Falcons down by one now. 16-15. Across the floor. On the baseline. Shots up. No good. Can't get the rebound. Profit gets it. 18-15. Lead under two minutes. Taylor Lopez. Lopez to Tato. Tato down to the corner to Caro. Caro. Baseline to Reed. Reed to Verduzco. Verduzco dribbles out. Loss of possession for Lopez. Taken away. Drive. Goes the distance. And that's what Angelo State can do. They've had consecutive possessions where they take the ball away, go get the ball. We have a foul on Tato. She's going to do the and one. Goes to the line, coach at the timeout was talking about Falcons in transition. I uh, mean uh, to play better transition defense, and of course that means holding on to the ball as well. In the game for Angelo State, number 13, Maddie Greenwood. And also number 15, Kiana Thompson. Perez is back playing point. Play the Falcons, dishes it over. Sierra Legrand in for UTPB. Has it stolen away again. Shots up. Side rim, no good. Falcons surround it. Legrand comes out of the rebound. Up ahead to Reed. Reed off the glass and in. Gets knocked down. No whistle. No an injury. Reed made the basket and hasn't gotten up yet. You always worry about a knee injury in that in that situation. We're back. Reed walked off largely of her own power. A little assistance from the trainer. She's not hobbled too badly. It looks like it might be an ankle. Maybe it twisted on the way down. And we still with possession. Three-point lead. Ball stolen away by PV. Hey, hey. Lopez. I'm oh, sorry, Perez. Dribbling to her right. Sierra Legrand now has possession. Dribbling left goes for three. It's up. It's good. It's a three pointer for Sierra Legrand. And we are all tied up. Excellent comeback by the Falcons. Fighting on D. And that's the quarter. Quick quarter. And the Falcons managed to come back and bring a 2020 tie ball game. So, uh, very, very quick pace. Only one timeout, the media timeout, as well as the injury time, in particular, three of eight overall from the field. Uh, leading rebounder in the game is John A. Peavy with four. Uh, and leaders in assists, Lexi Murphy for Angelo State. Jackie Perez for the Falcons, both with two. Ball tipped away. Nice, aggressive defense by PV. She's, she's having an effective game early on in terms of doing all the little things. Coach Will is saying, let her catch it on the inbounds and then cover her tight. Falcons are playing good defense. Trying to deny... That's a, that's, a, that's a shot that the Falcons will take every single time. Uh, Prophet went up and short-armed it, and she was being tightly defended. Air ball went out of bounds, out in possession. And UTPB was talking in the timeout uh, between quarters about how uh, aggressive they need to be on defense and how they're, they're actually tied them in rebounding, and that's a, a huge factor for the Falcons teams. If they can get the rebounds, uh, especially on the defensive side, limit Angelo State to only one shot each possession. That will be a huge factor. Perez gets knocked down. No foul called. Pass up. A little bit careless. Burke just came into the game at the at the 
injury. Basket by Dorsey. Makes it 22-20. Falcon ball foul. Foul on Dorsey. Perez has get the ball in the inbounds, gets it past the half court line. Craig is calling out the offense, set up in the half court set, dish over to the corner. That's up and good three-pointer by Peavy. So Falcons playing tough against the nationally ranked Angelo State Rambos. Shot missed. Rebound by Bell. Stolen away by Peavy. Calvin's doing everything right on the, on the defensive end. To LeGrand. LeGrand to Perez. Perez over to LeGrand on the far side. Peavy, Peavy into Verduzco. Verduzco up top to Peavy. Three on the shot clock, off the glass, off the rim, no good. Falcons with the rebound. Davis. Then she fights the traffic up ahead to PV. PV takes the layup and good on the giving go. So the Falcons effective in transition. Falcons playing aggressive on defense. Another ball tipped away by Lopez and stolen by PV. Shot up. Is she going to get shot credit for the shooting towel? Foul is number, on number 10. Dorsey, her second. Perez up the line. Makes the first. Perez is a 72% free throw shooter. Angelo State. Up over, shots up and good. Falcons still holding a two point lead, 26 24. Tato miss rebound for the Bells. A tiki tack foul called against Tato. Called for a hold. Reasonably clean first quarter, second one a little bit slower. We're at the 636 mark. Robinson will be shooting two. She makes the first. Robinson is a 70% shooter on the season. She makes them both. Davis into Legrand. Legrand taking it down the floor towards baseline. Shoots, drops it in. Falcons back out to a two-point lead in 28-26. Working up over the top, a bit too easy. They're going to have to find a way to deny Profit the ball because when she gets in there, she's the biggest player on the court. She's listed at 6'1". Brendan's listed at 6'2", but Profit's quite clearly taller. 
We have a timeout, 30 second timeout. Stretches to a foul. They get them to spread the floor a little bit better than they have been. Uh, and obviously also emphasizing defense a little bit. That's a, a cornerstone of this team. Falcons bring it up. Davis gets it across. Up to Perez. Perez dribbling left. And back to the right. Trying to find some space. Can't. There's going to be a, a blocking foul called against Ferguson. Grand, far side, gets it in to Caro. Caro goes baseline, can't find space. Dish it up top. Oh boy! And it's gonna be a backcourt violation against the Falcons. Bells with the ball in the half court. 28-28. Thinks of shooting, drives, gets it blocked. Nice block by Davis, and it will be Falcon ball. Perez. Falcons. Quite easily break the press. Bounce to LeGrand. LeGrand works off the Crittenden screen. Nice pass down low, Crittenden. Gets hit. Coach Willis not happy with either the knock call or the missed shot. Hard to tell which. Maybe a little bit of both. Driving the lane. Miss. Rebound, however. Crittenden's going to get called probably for a foul. But there are defenders on both sides. Foul is on Clinton in. And it will be missed by Ferguson. She'll have her second coming up. Reduce go into the game for the Falcons. Second one's up, misses. LeGrand with the rebound. LeGrand tentatively dribbling through traffic. Gets it across half court. Hands it off to Perez. Perez to Caro. Caro working down low to Verduzco, who can't get the handle on it. Goes out of bounds. Falcons Biggs having a little bit of problem handling the ball. Working ball around, trying to find space down left. He's doing a pretty good job of denying all in all. Drive. Could have been a block, but it looks like the foul. It is going to be on Verduzco. Carson is shooting two. Up, no good. She's on a bit of a cold spell from the line. Good. She makes her first free throw of the game. She's one for four from the line on the game. Falcons down by one after that converted free throw. Pass in, LeGrand helps break the trap, he gets across half court. Spinning in traffic over the side to Perez for three, up, no good. Ball on the floor is going to be a foul. Probably called on Davis. It is. And 
Angelo State with the one point lead under four minutes and a half. Traveling violation. And Falcons get the turnover. Into Perez. Cross to the corner. Driving baseline Davis off the glass. No good. Another foul called. This one's going to be. That's going to be on Perez. It's her second. At the line, Profit. Profit misses her first. Profit, two for three from the line today. Something good. Wayward pass inbounds from Peavy. Sierra Legrand wasn't ready for it. Ended up in Coach Willis' hands, and he took everything in him not to slam it to the ground and possibly cost himself a technical, so good discipline on Coach's part. And it will be Angelo State Ball with a two-point lead. Up and off the glass. Nice shot by Profit. Perez, three and a half minutes to go. Shot for Legrand for three. It's up and it's good. Bring it to within one point. 32, 31, 315 and counting. Drive. Little runner in the lane is good for Greenwood. Once again, a three-point lead for Angelo State. Off the glass and good. And Perez takes it on her, on her own. Back and forth. Falcons playing very well against this nationally ranked Angelo State team. Shots up for Greenwood. It's no good. Front rim. Davis with the rebound. Off the glass and good. And the Falcons with a one point lead. Under two and a half to go in the half. Falcons playing exceptional basketball in a lot of ways. I think that coach will still find some things they can improve on. But got to be happy with the effort. Ball stolen away again. Toe drives. She's going to. Not fouled, but ball knocked out of bounds. Perez coming out. Lopez in for her. Time to have the ball on the baseline, far side, passing in. The steal. Peavy drives, finds space, can't get it to go. Oh, she had it. She found an open lane. Another almost steal. He's going to be called for a foul. That's the grand on the foul. It looked like it was all ball from this angle. And it's Kelly shooting. She makes the first. Kelly's an 85% free throw shooter, so she's expected to knock these kinds of shots down. Get them both. And Angelo State with the lead in this back and forth game. Carol drives. They're going to be a shooting. Chanel Pell. It's good. Carol makes her first. Top ball game, 36-36, 1.45 to go. Carol going for her second. You give the Falcons a lead. Up. And good. 
And in this back and forth ball game, the Falcons take a lead. Ball stolen by Davis. Falcons getting it done on the defensive side. Davis up. Can't get the layup, but Kara with the follow. And the Falcons with a three point lead. Joe State driving off the glass. He's going to count the basket. Foul on PV. Freshman in. Kelly out. It's up. And good. Three point play. Giving the Ram Bells a two point. Uh, uh, sorry, a tie game. It's up. Side rim. Rebound for Davis. Oh, can't hold it, but it's knocked out. I believe it was knocked out by Christina Robinson. And it will be Falcon possession. Up to Petey. Ball stolen. A minute to go. She's going to try to take it. Misses. TV's second foul. Going the line will be Robinson. Robinson getting it down at the line. Giving the Rams the lead. Shots up. Falcons can't get the rebound. Down one. This would be a big stop for the Falcons if they could get it. Oh, shot up. Robinson gets it, goes up in the lane and. Gets it in. It was a nice defensive effort by the Falcons. They're now down four. Perez. Falcons content to run out. There's only about a second and a half between shot and game clock. Clara. Shot clock at four. Three point shot is up. Oh, no good. Not going to be enough time to score. Ball out of bounds. One tenth of a second. And Falcons going to get a chance to close it with Lopez at the free throw line. Lopez shoots 80% on the season. Falcons can bring it to within two. First one's up. Short front rim. So Falcons hoping to go into the half within three if Lopez can make this one. It's up. She drops it in. And that'll be the half. Falcons will go into the half. 43-40 against the number six. Angelo State Rambells. We will take the halftime break. Be back for second half action here in the Falcon Dome. If you're out there listening in the middle of the second, again, I keep emphasizing this, but this is against a team that's ranked number six in the country right now. A team that comes in 12 and 1. Falcons with possession. Tato from three, and it's a tie ball game. 10 seconds into the. The, the second half. And suddenly, the three point shot is going to have to be one way that the Falcons take advantage of the mismatch, what should be a mismatch on paper. Collapsing the boards. Foul on Brea Fireson. Brea Fireson. 
Thirsty. Hey, that's the people. Hey, that's the people. Another three by Tato. And the Falcons feeling it early here in the second half. And this is how the way an underdog comes up with a big victory. Long way to go. And certainly this is a really talented Angelo State team as we saw in the first half. Crittenden playing solid defense. Was going to take the charge and still was able to get the loose ball. I'm not sure if she would have a steal there or not. Once again, ball in the wing, pass down to Crittenden. Crittenden can't get the, the pass. Driving baseline. It's going to be fouled by Crittenden. Stay down. You're not going to block the shot. Stay down. It's Crittenden third. Going to the line is Dorsey. One of the things the coaches were, let's say, dismayed about was the disparity in free throws uh, in the in the first half. They shot 18 in the first half, and Falcons only shot six, and that really is the biggest difference in the game since they made 13 of them. And that disparity obviously continuing with the first two free throws of the second half going to Angelo State. Perez hands it off to PV. PV spins. Out of bounds on Angelo State. Falcons will maintain the possession. Perez passing it in near side, baseline. To Crittenden. This time there'll be a foul called in the inbounds pass. That's against Freeman. That's her second in quick succession in this second half and her third on the game. I think it's her third. It is, but don't correct yourself in case you're wrong. In the PV, PV and traffic setting up for the three, and that's Perez. Shots up. No good. Okay. Uh, Angelo State passing in the baseline. Shots up. Off the glass and good. Crittenden with four fouls now. Was full possession. Falcons up to this it over. Carry okay, for three, long three, and a good three. Twenty-five footer for Carroll. And if the Falcons are feeling it from three, that's going to be a very good thing if they take a five-point lead, matching their biggest lead of the ball game. Fighting down low. They're going to count the basket, and there's going to be a foul on Perez. And that's going to be a concern for the Falcons. Crittenden having four is going to be a tough blow. Perez having three could prove to be even more dangerous. The Falcons up three. And one up. And it's no good, and there might be a little bit of justice there. Kara, I mean, sorry, Tato. Tribbling left, calling out instructions to Kara, working off the Rebusco screen. We try to do the pick and roll, but the pass was intercepted.
Ball up off the glass and good. Angelo State with nice effective defense, offensive run there. And it's back to a one point ball game. 52 51. Angelo State can score quickly. Perez shooting, hits off the bottom of the backboard, kind of wayward. And Angelo State's run continues. First time out of the half called. Half. Perez with the ball. Trying to find space on the right hand side, can't do it. Pulls back out, dish it down to Taylor. And it's going to be off on Kara. Another somewhat weighted pass. Far side ball tipped away. Quick can by John A. Peavy. It will be Angelo State ball. Balls up and in. Greenwood up top. Being fronted by Perez. Shots up. It rattles in. Lex Murphy. Lexi Murphy with the jumper from on the th- uh, on the three-point line. Taylor for three. Can't get it to go. Falcons down three. Neva Tato going to come back into the Falcons. She got the hot start to the second half. Up. Moves everywhere but in. Looks down low, too easy. Lexi Murphy with the basket to give Angelo State the five point lead. Davis trying to get it down, she does, gets swatted. Peavy gets the shot, just knocked into the wall about 15 feet away. It will be Falcon possession. Near side baseline. Taylor up and over to Caro. Caro off the glass. Can't get it to go. Falcons in the second half. So far, actually shooting okay. It, it felt like they weren't, but they're, they're actually shooting better now than they were. But but just a couple of misses that really could have gone in. And there we go, off the glass and in for Kara. And stopping a little bit of a beating. Falcon now trailing on by two, but wide open. Just no one anywhere in the vicinity of Jasmine Prophet. That was way too easy on a bit of a back door. Not even a cut. She was just wide open. Well, I think about three. Too tightly defended. Drives, dishes it out. Beavy, four, three. And good. That was Davis for three, apparently. I thought it was Beavy. Drive, shot, fighting blue rebound. Angel State comes up with it off the glass and good. Put it to Davis. Davis working over to Peavy. Peavy spins. Drive. Oh, can't get it to drop. The layups are a problem for the Falcons now. This guy's shot is up. And good. An awkward looking shot by Greenwood, but it drops in. Seven point lead for Angelo State is the largest game, largest lead either team has had 
in this ball game. Pluto. Peavy. Peavy. Looking to pass and dribbles. Ball tipped away. Off of the Falcons. And Angelo State Ball. Falcons need to find a way to stop the bleeding. They're going to need a stop. Angelo State Ball. Being fronted by Lopez, providing a little bit of pressure in the half court. Down low, and once again, no solution to the cutting profit. And suddenly, a nine point game looking a little bit like getting away from the Falcons. Hopefully, they can straighten it out. Driving Carroll across the floor, shots up by Legrand. She can't get it to go. Falcons finally all get back on defense. And Angelo State goes from transition to their half court offense. Shots up and good. And Falcons, for the first time in this game, facing a double digit deficit as we approach two minutes to go in the third quarter. Lopez drives. Gets it swatted as she goes sort of underhanded, but. I believe there's going to be a foul, and it's going to be on Christina Robinson. Lopez up, and it rattles in. And Lopez for her second. Verdusco comes in for the Falcons. Shots up. It's good. Falcons trailing by nine. We need a fight to get back into this ball game. A game that just in the last route. Seven minutes has kind of gotten out of hand. Angelo State started getting hot. Falcons started panicking a little bit. And in short order, it went from the Falcons with a five-point lead to Angelo State having as much as an 11-point lead, which could be 10 now. Shots up. Front rim, no good. Second shot. I think she has the ball. It's profit at the line. Up. And good. Yeah. Coach Baker levying a complaint about the way the Falcons are, are going to box out in the free throws. Verduzco. Verduzco shoots. Burke coming in for Verduzco. Lopez again playing a little bit of full court defense, just enough to provide some pressure pressure on the ball. Shots up, it's good, and that three pointer drops, and that gives the 13 point lead. Tato to Lopez. Lopez drives. Fouls on Nettie Greenwood. And Lopez at the line. Tuck. 
and good. 72-60, 55 seconds to go in the third quarter. Falcons had a rough third quarter. Lopez a second coming up. Shot. And rattles out. Pelly with the rebound. Nice little move by Greenwood. She can't get it to go. Pelly with the rebound to Lopez. Lopez sprinting. Just out to Burke. Burke dribbles to her right, drives. Clear drop, it gets it to go. Falcons back within 10. This will be a really big stop. The Falcons could get it. Is Carol going to... Give me a call on Carol. This is happening down here the Carol's second foul. In the 11-point ball game, Pelly to the line. Shots up. Lopez running through just into the corner, another lowered pass for the Falcons. 12 point game, 4.1 seconds to go. Falcons going to try to deny. Coach Willis telling to make sure no fouls. They don't want to get cheap on the four seconds to go. Uh, she manages to get it, drive. No good. Falcons. Come up with a rebound, but can't do anything with it. 24 72. Okay, quick note to her. Falcons turn by 12 as we enter the fourth quarter. Angela State with possession. Start the fourth quarter. Pass down low, oh, they are deadly with that. They have a really nice little combination there. Even in traffic, they're able to make that pass and convert. And that one was Dorsey. The Grand driving, front rim, rebound, Angelo State. 14 point lead, biggest of the game. Christina Robinson has 21 points, leading all scores in the game. Leader for the Falcons is Neil Tato. Uh, Angelo State is, has profit with 16 and Dorsey with 15. Leading rebound. Missed shot. Going to the floor is Dorsey. She seems okay. She's taking her time getting up. It will be Angelo State ball. Leading rebounders on the game with five each, which on APD for the Falcons, Christina Robinson. And another basket by Maddie Greenwood. And it's a 17-point lead after the three-pointer. Another steal over Davis. Full on collision. She got. She she's going to foul. She may as well get the maximum from it, and she certainly did. And they're still driven left. They now have a 17-point lead, and things kind of just falling apart for the Falcons, who played so, so well in the first half and the first two minutes of the second half. Got up to a five-point lead. Shot. 
drops up from distance another big three pointer and just things not going well for the Falcons right now. Shots up, she's fouled, Peavy goes to the floor, but she gets up quickly. 82-64, 18-point lead for Angelo State. Falcons were outscored 31-22 in the third period. Up and good. Shots up. No good, but rebound to put her put up off the glass and good. Little sign of life from the Falcons. Falcons putting on full court pressure. Falcons jumping all around on defense. Might be a little too little, a little too late as they trail by 15, 7.45 to go in the ball game. Trying to get up over the top and they do. And that's their, almost their safety valve. Toledo. Driving, Lopez off the glass, oh, can't get it to go, and once again, the layups have been a problem for the Falcons. Ball stolen away, Peavy gets in the way of it, bounces it, tips it up, and Lopez comes down with it. Kyle for three. Angela State in transition. This is it back to the top. Spinning. Profit. Finds the open man. That's Murphy. The open woman, I should say. My apologies. Shots up. No good, Falcons get the rebound, however. Davis just it out to Lopez, Lopez driving. Gets it back. Davis gets it off the glass and good. We'll climb out on the floor. We'll take that break here. Falcons showing 86 to 69. Back and so stay with possession brings it across half court. Up top, Falcons trailing by 17 in a game that was for so long so promising, but things just haven't gone right. Spin, rebound for Toto, bounce pass, descend, Good on the free throw. Clinton in. She has four fouls. Davis.
Kicks in. Falcons putting on full pressure. Being aggressive. Coach Lewis wants a walk. The Falcons still a 16 point ball game. Drive, shot, off the glass, no good. Another rebound for Angelo State. At the line will be Tyler Dorsey. Stop. Looks good. Dorsey makes his first. Dorsey makes both free throws, 90 to 72, 18 point lead. Clinton comes up with a loose ball, shots up. No good, Clinton with another rebound. Interception goes up and in. Falcons only playing the last whistle. Swarming on defense. Might be too late, but. Clinton, tough on you. She's going to be called for her fifth foul, I'm assuming, but I don't, I don't, I didn't really see the contract there. And Clinton didn't want to foul out. Uh, and to be honest, Clinton had a, a, a bit of a, a, a quiet game in a lot of ways. Clinton fouls out, and having scored no points. Gotten five fouls, one turnover. Gotten two rebounds. In about 11 minutes, partially that, that as a starter, she only got 11 minutes in part because she got in that foul trouble so quickly. More free throws. Jasmine Prophet. Shots up. Lodusco, the rebound, spins, dishes it out. Toto thinks about three. Lodusco up and in. Three minutes to go in the ball game. Cross court, Angelo State. Somewhat struggling with the Falcons' pressure, but talked to Coach Willis with being in the game. He said this is just nothing that the Falcons could do for the entire game against a team as good as Angelo State. They break it every time and uh, would lead to 
to mismatches. And it's now time to just go on the third. At the line. Shots up. Three pointer for the Falcons is good. Twelve point ball game. Falcons gonna try to be aggressive on defense. They're not gonna see this one as well, even though it's two oh one down twelve. It's gonna take a bit of a miracle, but and there's another foul by the Falcons. Glass good, but foul is already called. Oh, really, I think we're having some audio difficulties here, so I apologize for, for that if I'm breaking in and out. Perez up the line for the Falcons. She misses it. Central State working the ball around. Oh, she's going to get fouled by Perez. That was just pretty close up across the face. and the Falcons trailing 15. Minute and a half to go. Toto. Trying to get it up top. Rodusko gets it off the glass and good. And the Falcons going to continue to put on the pressure. So got into within 13. And Real State breaks the pressure reasonably easily. Obviously, Angela State content to milk the clock. Falcons going to play to the final buzzer, but... Coach Willis clearly wants to work on defense. He doesn't want any fouls. Three-point effort on the rebound for Angela State. Foul on Johnny Peavy. 